Hey everybody, how are you? It's Jeff Gelman of Solid Canine Training with my What Would Jeff Do Dog Training Tip of the Day. Tip number 59. Working up on being a senior citizen over here. Don't knock it till you try it. Listen, when I first got into dog training, um, I got into it because of my own personal dog. And I remember going to a clicker trainer and pretty much positive trainer. And I immediately um, didn't like it. It was a turnoff uh, between the person and the training not being effective. But I went to come, as I go through the years, I find out that actually they just didn't know what they were doing. Like we clicker train dogs now, but it's not, it would have been terrible if I didn't learn how to train in all different modalities. What happens a lot on the flip side is with remote collars slash, slash shock collars is, a lot of people have some very, very strong opinions, anti, but they've never seen a dog be trained on one, never done it themselves, never worked with anybody. They just listen to all the nonsense. This is not just about one training modality. It's a lot of different training modalities. So considering that we're trying to get the best out of our dog, considering that we're trying to rehab our dog, considering that we're trying to to highly train our dog or get good manners or break bad behaviors, we all should be a little bit more open to different training modalities. I'm proud to say that we use a ton of different tools. We use a ton of different methodology. Our philosophy is one thing, we have our philosophy. It's so important. So don't knock it till you try it. You never know but you gotta find somebody good that can help you. Because no matter how good the methodology is, if the trainer that's training it is not good, it won't work. And then you'll re throw it back on the methodology instead of the actual person teaching it. Jeff Gelman, Solid Canine Training. What would Jeff do? Dog training tip of the day. Tip number 59. Madly in love with you. I'll see you tomorrow.